Being a single mom is making your own cake. Okay. First world problems for real, because that's a nice kitchen with all the tools and ingredients needed for a cake and a nice camera, plus I'm guessing it's on a stand as well, to set up, open your camera app and record yourself crying about your poor choices in life. So this video is getting a lot of attention online, but mainly because of the shocking events following the release of her main character energy video. I think this might be the best ad out there for believe all women at your own peril. And we're going to get into everything in this very to the point video. But first hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss another episode of a Nigerian Take with Steel. And whilst you're at it, like and share this video. So that video immediately went viral. People are suckers for a good sob story. At first, people felt bad for her and the single mom's support group made its way into the comment section. Somebody said, being a single mom is one of the hardest things I've ever done. At times, it can be so lonely and overwhelming. I have been a single mom for 32 years. The best part is you get your favorite color. Buy yourself a present, you deserve it. <laughs> it's okay. I think what everyone is missing is you care for everyone, including your adult friends, and everyone forgets you. I understand as a single mom. I'm so sorry, girl. Single mom here, we do anything for our children. This one says, my mom was a single mom for a lot of my life. I've watched her cry when she thought no one was watching. You are so seen. So much respect for you. Sorry, you're hurting. You don't deserve any of this. How the heck do you know? You don't bloody know this person. And of course, we had those just like me that can smell melodrama BS from a mile away. This one reads, let me just set up my camera and start crying. Hold on. Guys, feeling lonely is not a competition. <laughs> let me set up my camera first to cry into. And on this train of non-sympathizers was her ex-husband who saw the video and made a response of his own. Dum, dum, dum. Then the plot thickened. So I've been sent this video a lot over the last few days and before anyone says, oh, you don't know her situation or, you know, you don't know what she's going through. Well, I do. I'm her ex-husband and um, right now I have full custody of our kids. This is our parent agreement. As you can see, I have all weekdays and weekends, all at holiday academic breaks. And for her to get any rights back to the kids, these are the things that she needs to do. Child support, she owes that. It's up to over $21,000. So she's a mother and doesn't pay child support. She was then arrested for check fraud. And during that hearing, it turned out that it was found that she stole almost a million dollars from another guy. And also she faked cancer in the past. These are scans that she would send and post on her page. She uh, just really not someone that other single mom should really be looking towards that for inspiration or anything like that. So let's see, he has a mock shot of a previous arrest, evidence of credit card fraud, a single mom in distress not paying child support, and shocker, the kids that should be singing happy birthday to her aren't even in her custody. Hmm, a woman being deceitful while crying, playing the victim and courting sympathy? Hmm, where have I seen that one before? I wasn't him anymore. It wasn't him. It was black. I've never been so scared in my life. Well, you know what comes next. Ex-husband's video also goes viral and the comments rip her to shreds. Somebody says crying of guilt. Yeah, you think? And the Oscar goes to, I was not ready for that plot twist. You're sick to play the victim in all this. And there I was thinking that she was brave and stunning. So single mom in distress couldn't take the backlash lying down, so she made this response video. I want to first start this video by saying this is not to bring a single bit of hate to Andrew and I will never do that. I will never bring some the parent of my children down um, because that's not okay for them. Andrew has created websites, TikToks, essentially everything since I left him. Andrew is extremely, extremely abusive and has always been extremely abusive. He told me the morning that he posted the video, if I deleted my social media, he would not do what he's doing, what he's not, would not destroy my life. 
Now we just have a he said, she said situation and the internet is split right down the middle. Team single mom in distress versus team allegedly abusive ex. Like I said earlier, this is a great ad for why when an emotional woman tells you stuff, you should vet and fact check before sparing her your sympathy. Now from my tone, you might gather that I don't particularly care much for this story. It's just one more irritating detail to remind me that privacy has left the building in this our generation. However, I had to cover it because it does present an opportunity to talk about one of my most core values, discernment. See, I'm particularly passionate about sharing my thoughts on discernment because I realize people really do get into trouble and even make a mess of their whole lives just because they failed to build this one quality. How do you think you end up in terrible relationships when you really are a sweet person or as a single mom when you think you deserve better or even as a good man with a selfish woman that only values your money and will leave you in a heartbeat when someone with a bigger bag comes along? Now, I do not know either of them personally, but if a man is willing to create a whole ass social media account to preach to the world about what a shit person you are, he could either really be a psycho without a life or more relevant to the message in my video today, he could be right about you and you're so terrible but great at pretending that other men need to be warned about you. Frankly, this reminds me of that viral homeless man who the virtuous internet raised money for only to find out that he was a criminal. A viral TikTok of a college student helping out a homeless man raised over $400,000 and now a woman has come forward saying he has a violent past. Shall I spell it out then? If a person is homeless or poor or a single mom, there is every possibility that they are in that situation because of the consequences of their own actions. And contrary to what most people believe, this is the most likely possibility. This is not to say that you shouldn't have empathy for people, but only to say empathy with discernment is a life-saving combo. You should try it sometime. So back to, the, to this crazy story. My only take is... Believe all women at your peril. Some women are manipulative and will cry their way into your life right on shadow to destroy you. My name is Dio. Thank you for watching. So guys, what do you think about this video and this whole drama? Share your thoughts in the comment below and I will see you on the next one. Odabu.